Do you know the difference between the Wizard of Oz and the Wizard of the Emerald City? If no, then continue watching this video. Hello, but it's the Nihil Universe, how to this fine and I'm a Rationet who brings for the thermal experience. And today we're gonna to talk about the impact of the wonderful Wizard of Oz by Lyman Frank Baum on the Soviet culture of 1970-1990. And it is the presentation that I will show tomorrow on the conference in my university, and we will discuss about it. It will be the conference that that it is for the faculty, our faculty of uh, English literature, English language and something like this. And uh, I will show the connection between your American culture and our culture. Actually, it is mostly about connection of the American culture to us, because uh, I mean that uh, it is an impact, the huge impact of American culture. Let's, let's dive into it. First of all, the purpose of this work will be it is to show the impact of the story by Lyman Frank Baum to the Soviet culture of 1970 1990 and if you look to the picture right now to the pictures to pictures so then you will notice that on the left it is maybe something that is familiar for you it is the wizard of oz we have Doro dorothy also we have dorothy or how to say dorothy uh, correct okay and we have the teen woodman and also the scarecrow on the cowardly lion and on the right what do we see you maybe are not familiar with it but on the right we see the russian version of it it and uh, it is called the Emerald City, and it is not the kind of uh, the by the Lyman Frank ba Baum. Uh, actually, yes, because we will discuss about it right now. What is uh, what's it about? Okay, let's dive in next. First of all, let's start from the Lyman Frank ba Baum. Ho who is he? He's a writer from uh, America, and he wrote the wi uh, the wonderful Wizard of uh, Oz, and also he created a lot of stories, a lot of things, and in ninety oh. Oh, it means uh, 1900th year, he wrote the story of the Wizard of Oz. It was interesting, and the main plot of the story that we have uh, the Dorothy, who is from the Kansas City, and who who by magic started to fly away from the Kansas City and she relocated yourself <laughs> yourself to another uh, another place to another city Munchkin Munchkin Kingdom or something and so she landed on the witch which of the specific part of our world yes and uh, she landed on her and then Munchkin started uh, to say hooray yes it is amazing she killed her she uh, she is a nice girl yes amazing it is the violence and good and something like this so they started to, to speak okay this jokes and uh, then then uh, she started to think oh I'm in this uh, wonderful place but I want to go home how can I go home and uh, then it's uh, it has happened that uh, appeared one good witch and uh, she said that I can uh, I can go I, I can I can help you but first of all you need to help to, to three creatures in this world and these creatures uh, you will find there and then you can go to the specific wizard of Oz and uh, he will help you to go to go to your place and then uh, it a story happens uh, she helps them and they are a kind of good she found uh, she found the scarecrow also teen teen woodman and also la uh, cr cr cowardly lion and then they went on the yellow brick road and then they are with the wizard and wizard said that need to kill this and uh, then to happen that and, uh, and uh, then finally she she uh, she uh, did all the things and they did all the things and uh, she was gifted by the by the movie uh, back to the Kansas City and everything is fine everything is good and okay it is the main plot in some kind of variations next okay we are acquainted with we got acquainted with the story right now something that may be new for you as uh, maybe a person who is from America on f or from English uh, England or maybe from Australia or South Africa because right now it is the wizard of the Emerald City that is written on the 1939 and here is 1900 it means uh, 1900th and here is 1939 and it is written by Alexander Milentovich Volkov and he is the Russian author Russian writer and he created the wizard of the Emerald City that it is almost the same almost super mega the same and if you will dive into it look 
It is uh, the similarities and differences. And uh, we have the Ellie Smith, and uh, it is the equivalent of the Baum <laughs> Dorothy Gale. Totoshka, actually, it is Toto. Strashila, actually, it is Scarecrow. The Teen Woodman, it is the Teen Woodman. Cowardly Lion, the same. James Goodwin, it is the Wizard. Vilina, v- uh, Vilina, it is uh, the Good Witch of the North. And uh, Gingema, actually, it is Wick to Witch of the East. And Pastinda, it is the Wick to Witch of the West. It is differences between them, and that's all. And uh, almost everything in this book, it is kind of uh, calked, or how to say it, it is copied, copied past, but it is not the copy past, it is re narrative in the Russian in, in the Russian language. It is not the translation. There, there were some addings, and I don't know why is it not copyrighted, but uh, actually, some things are all almost the same, like, uh, they are on the yellow brick wall, they are, uh, look, look even at the picture, uh, there is uh, things, I think that there were some talk about copyright and something like this, uh, and uh, I think that they were communicating, but actually it is written, we have two versions in the Russian Federation, we have the Wizard of the Emerald City by Fr- Lyman Frank Baum, Baum, ba- Baum, Baum, the Lyman Frank Baum, and also by Alexander Milintovich Volkov, who have two versions. Really, you will go to the store and they will ask you what, you, what do you want. And then, okay, and uh, we are talking right now about the Emerald City, because it is my work to present it to university that our oh, Russian Federation is the best federation and something like this. Okay, and uh, the circulation of the book, of the book that it is Emerald City, it is 600,000 books in our country. It is a lot, I want to say, and uh, for the Soviet culture, uh, for the Soviet Union from 1970 1990, it is a huge number. Actually, it is uh, previously also from 19. 19- 39, but actually I put it there, this number. It is a big number. Then next, what's the impact on the Soviet culture do we have more? We have the impact that Christmas Eve, Christmas Eve toys. Look, look at the left, you will see five different uh, Christmas Eve toys. And also we have the different records, records by the Russian company Melody. And uh, they are here and you can place it on your specific audio audio phone, yes, and uh, you can listen to this. Also, we had uh, different types of... Uh, what is it? It is uh, the the performances, theater performances, and uh, there we are in the Soviet culture, and right now we have them too. And also by the specific television company Screen, actually, if we will translate it, but actually in Russian it is called Ekran, Th- they created in 1973, 1974, uh, kind of ish, 90, 1973, 1974, 1970s, okay? They created this work, really nice work, I highly recommend, With it is musical, musical with uh, using specific technique of the, of the puppets, it is the puppets movie, and uh, you can watch it, if you want, you can Google, in the Russian language, uh, highly recommend, it is with uh, good values, with f- friendly, it is friendly, family friendly, and nice, uh, and highly recommend to watch it. And uh, actually, it is uh, the impact of this all things uh, to the Soviet culture, because they learned it, uh, they, they have it, it is in a material way, that we can see in our world. But if we will dive into the some inner soul, in some of the things that are inside of us, then we will find this. The story helps people to be kind and empathetic, creative, brave, and uh, the last quote that says this book is, it is, there is no ho- th- there is no place like home, that helps people to love home and homeland and, and things of this nature. Thank you a lot for watching, if you have any questions, then uh, I will be glad to answer to them. It is <laughs> kind of what I should say during the tomorrow's conference. Actually, I will talk uh, with more to the audience of the, that will be uh, uh, listening to me, to me. But actually, you right now understood what I, what I talked about, and it was interesting. Maybe you understood, understood it. And uh, did you understand what I talked about? Let me know in the comment section below. And what do I want to focus more? It is the... Actually, in Russia, we have the difference on the similarities and differences. Let's uh, focus on it more. We have uh, the similarities in the names, almost the same, in the events that are happening in the book, almost the same. But the difference main that some events also added. It is with edits, with ads, like ads not like a, a 
ads like uh, for the marketing it is for the ads of uh, addings yes and uh, there is some events that are not ha happening in uh, the book of the Lyman Frank Baum bomb and so they are happening mostly there and some of the like violence really violence uh, things that are happened in the Lyman Frank bomb it is not like super mega violence because it's not super I, I don't want to say that it's a violence, but actually there, there are killing or something, yes? Uh, you maybe remember. Uh, they are replaced with some of the... How to say it? Uh, it is uh, the... Of euphemismus. Euphemismus, it's not feminism. Uh, feminismus, it is from women. And euphemismus, it is the words that are kind of slightly good. Slightly good and so with more with more like you understand you can uh, say killed or you can say smashed for example yes it is kind of different things or you can say that uh, it was uh, pressed or something like this uh, not using really bloody words uh, or something yes and uh, it is uh, first the difference and uh, the second difference it is uh, with the names uh, but names uh, it is kind of uh, we it's not the difference I want to say and so some of the some of words they are kind of adapted to the Russian audience because uh, if we'll translate, translate the word Strashila actually it is the scare crowd but it is not the scare crowd it is the specific word to describe uh, it is the word that if we'll translate it is frightening person the frightening thing Yes, frightening thing, the thing that makes you be scared. It is not for the crowds, actually. It is so like you are, you are this way. It is kind of adapted in the meaning of the words that we use in Russian language. The same, for, for example, you maybe have the slang in your country, yes? And you have Big Apple. The Big Apple and uh, kind of the same slang, maybe, and uh, as you say, for the New York. And uh, here is the slang of Russian language to some of them. Not fully, again. And, okay, this story was interesting. What I need to learn more, it is uh, some dates about Lyman Frank Baum. Uh, he actually wrote it in uh, 90... Oh, oh, need to learn where he is uh, born from. We'll Google right now. And uh, one moment. Lyman Frank Baum. And we'll find it. It is American author, best known. Da -da 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 -da. New York, actually. New he was born in New York. New York, okay. And... Uh, it is the... Ah, he was born in the place Chittenango. Chittenango, okay. In the New York. New York and state. New York too, yes? Okay, yes. Okay. Ah, state. Okay, we don't know how to say it. How to watch it. One moment. New York is the village located in Madison County. New York, United States. Okay. Madison County, he was born. So, I hope that you enjoyed it. If uh, so, let me know in the comment section below what do you think about it. Actually, need to watch... Uh, oh, what's my position, my own position? I think that it is okay to kind of translate works, but actually to retell stories in your own manner, if it is not the copyright... It should be with the royalty, I think so. So, for the Lyman Frank Baum, because uh, he is the author of the whole work, but actually, in the mod modern days, actually, I think that, uh, I don't know, need to do researches. If he need to do researches on the differences and similarities. If the similarities is more than 85%, then we can say that it's kind of, oh, it is the same. But if it is not the uh, with this way, when it, if it is 60%, it's okay, because uh, all the stories, they are repeatful in our world, and it could be the adaptation. And uh, it could be, I think that it to be original, it to be original, but uh, I don't know what to say more. It is the same as to say about Greek mythology, and also Egypt mythology, and also North, Nordic mythology. They are almost the same, the same things, but names are changed. And it is kind of... Uh, the same with the Emerald City. Names are changed, kind of ish, but not fully. And uh, need to learn about it more. If you want, you can do this. 
and uh, thank you a lot for watching thank you for having me let me know in the comment section below will it be interesting tomorrow for the conference i think that it will be interesting they will say that yes nice work yes connection yes uh, f m most of all th the most of all this work was made for the show for to show the connection to show the connection between cultures that you have this we have this and the impact because impact is huge because uh, the one the one of the wizard of emerald city in russia it is super mega popular and the wizard of the oz uh, of the wonderful wizard of oz it is popular too but mostly people know the they know about the connection but mostly they know that uh, it is emerald city kind of they call it because of the movies, I think so. Because we have movies about it. And the American movie, it is not super popular. It is even not uh, super on television we have. and uh, But it's okay. It is uh, not like uh, the war. Uh, right now, let's do some of the... <laughs> oh, you said this and this kind of versus uh, things. Yes, it is. it's okay to have all of them. But actually, what's your opinion? Let me know in the comment section below. I said that uh, I think that... It should be kind of... Uh, <laughs> I, I prefer more of the original. But if we look at everything in our life, that everything kind of... It is uh, with some parts of taken from some, somewhere. It could be the adaptation, actually. I think that this adaptation more, mostly. And if we'll Google to... If we'll go to the Wikipedia, they are saying that it's a retelling. Re, re narrative the re-narrative to the cultural experience. It is kind of the myths, yes, the same. You have, again, Nordic myths, you have uh, Slavic mythology, and it is, they are the same with the stories, but names are different and stories slightly different. The same with it. And uh, what do you think about it? Let me know in the comment section below. See you next time. Thank you for your congratulations yesterday's for uh, yesterday for my birthday. And uh, I'm so glad. Uh, and we'll continue learning. See you next time. Imperfect Daily. Go forward.